We're gonna be transforming this white pumpkin that has seen better days. I don't even know where I got it from, but I've definitely been using it for years in my fall decor. And the great thing is once you have a pumpkin, you have a pumpkin and you can change it up each year to fit in what your current style is for fall. So what I wanna do is I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm just going to hand draw some little vines and some little leaves all over this pumpkin. Next, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and just trace over all the little vines that I just made with my pencil. I kinda thought this would take a long time, but it really didn't. It actually took me longer to plan out and draw the little vines than it did to go back over it with the glue gun. Now you could fill in the leaves if you wanted. I just decided to stick with the outline and it worked great. Um, even if my lines were a little bit shaky in the end, it all works out. We're definitely going for a handmade look, so don't stress over it too much. Next, we're gonna paint it using the baking soda and paint mixture. I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in the color mineral. And the recipe is up to you. It just depends how textured you want to, your paint to be. I would not recommend going more than half and half. The more baking soda you use, the more textured it will be. Now we're simply just going to paint the pumpkin with the mixture we just made. When I'm using the baking soda paint mixture, I like to use a chip brush just for even more added texture. And the great thing, since you can see the paint was chipping off of this pumpkin, doing this paint texture paint mixture will hide all those imperfections. So if you have something that has imperfections, this Painting technique is definitely the way to go. You also want to take off all the little hot glue sprigs uh, that you have everywhere. I thought I pulled them off and then when I started painting, they just kept popping up some more. So you're gonna wanna put two coats of paint on here. You wanna paint one, let it dry, and then go ahead and put the second coat of paint on. And once your paint is all the way dry, you wanna seal it. I use Rust-Oleum Clear. And I would recommend doing two coats because I only did one light coat and I still had areas where the paint was coming up where the hot glue was. So this will help keep your gray paint on the piece. And once that is dry, we want to add white wax. Y'all have seen me do this many times before when you add white wax to gray, it makes it look like cement. And it's also really gonna bring out all that texture that we just put on this piece with the hot glue. So you simply paint on your white wax and then you're gonna take a paper towel or a rag and just wipe it off. So this is why it is important to seal it before the step because you don't want to wipe off your gray paint as well. I just love how this pumpkin came out. This is definitely my style of fall decor. And I chose this leaf pattern, but you can definitely use whatever pattern you want to update whatever size pumpkin you have to fit into your current fall decor style.